Alright, in this video we're going to do another couple examples of going from polar form to rectangular or Cartesian form. So here we've got r squared equals uh, negative 3 secant theta. So the first thing I'm going to do is we could rewrite secant theta as 1 over cosine. So that would give us negative 3 over cosine theta. But again, to be able to replace, uh, you know, to replace this with x, we need r cosine theta. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by r. Equivalently, we'll multiply both sides by 1 over r. So on the left, um, r squared over r would just give us r. We would have negative 3 over r cosine theta. And now we can start uh, substituting things in. So recall that r squared was uh, x squared plus y squared. Well, r is just going to be the square root of x squared plus y squared. And then we have negative 3. r cosine theta is the same thing as x. So um, at this point, you know, maybe we can get rid of the radical. We can square both sides. So we've got x squared plus y squared equals, let's see, so negative 3 times negative 3 would be 9 over x squared. And now I think what I'll do uh, is we can multiply both sides by x squared. So both sides by x squared. On the left, x squared times x squared will be x to the fourth. Then we'll get x squared times y squared. Um, on the right, the x squared would just cancel. We would be left with 9. So I would say, you know, either you could leave it like this, or we can just make the... We can always make the right side 0 by subtracting 9 away. So I think that would be a nice, good place uh, to leave to leave it. Let's do our other example here as well. We've got r over 3 tangent theta equals sine theta. So on this one, what I'm going to do, um, the first thing I'm going to do, well, let's just jot it down here. So there's a couple different things that we can uh, do here immediately. I think one thing that I'll do is, again, I see an r on the left, that's fine. Tangent theta, I know what to replace that with. Tangent of theta we can replace with y over x. Again, I don't really know much, you know, I don't know what to do with the sine theta. Um, again, if it just said r sine theta, um, I could replace it with uh, y. So that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to multiply both sides by r. So on the left, we'll have r squared over 3 tangent theta. On the right, we'll have r sine theta. But again, now we can start substituting. So r squared is x squared plus y squared. We've got 3 times tangent, which is y over x. Let's see, r sine theta, that's the same thing as y. And now, again, we can just start, you know, maybe getting rid of the fractions and cleaning this up a little bit. So we've got x squared plus y squared. Uh, in the denominator, I could write that as 3y over x equals y. I think what I'll do on the left side is... Um, you can think about the numerator as being x squared plus y squared over 1. Well, since we're dividing by 3y over x, that would be the same thing as multiplying by x over 3y. And then we still have our y left over on the right side. I'm going to distribute the x to the numerator. That would give us x cubed plus x times y squared all over 3y equals y. And just to get rid of the fractions, we can multiply both sides by 3y. So they'll cancel out on the left. We'll be left with x cubed plus xy squared equals 3y squared. And again, if you wanted to, we could always make one side 0. We could subtract the 3y squared from both sides. And again, I would say now uh, this is a good place. We've turned our polar equation into a rectangular equation.